In this example, we're going to calculate the position for the centroid for this C section. All dimensions are given in millimeters. First move is to split our shape up into a number of rectangles. This can be achieved by either doing a horizontal or vertical split. My preference here will just be to do a horizontal split to make our three rectangles. Labeling from the top down, number one, number two, number three. For each of the rectangles, we're going to locate the center for each individual rectangle. And for each center, we need to write down the coordinates of each of those centers from one reference point. Our reference point being our lower left most point we have on our diagram. And here it's going to be a point on the bottom left hand corner of this section. Our reference point is like the origin on a, on a graph and we're going to measure the location of our three centers from our reference point or from our origin. On the right hand side I'm going to write down the position of each of these three centers. So starting with the first one, the distance across your x coordinate will be 75 and the height up will be 200 coming back 20 and that should be 180 just write this to the side so it is 75 and 180. For the second rectangle, distance across to that center will be 20 and the height to that location will be half of 200 will be 100. Writing that down, we have 20, 100. For the center for the third rectangle, it again will be 75 across, and the height in this example will be up 20, write down the coordinates 75 and 20. Underneath each of those sets of coordinates we're going to write down a couple of variables. For the first set split into rectangle 1, x1, y1. For the second set, x2, y2. For the third set, it was x3 and y3. We need these values when we come to do the calculation for x bar and y bar, which is the overall center for the centroid for the entire shape. The two formula we need x bar which is sigma a x over sigma a and y bar which is sigma a y over sigma a. Taking the first of these x bar in this example we have three rectangles so our formula is a1 x1 plus a2 
x2 plus a3 x3 over the total cross-sectional area a1 plus a2 plus a3. The one thing to note for the shape rectangle 1 150 by 40 are the dimensions for rectangle 2 40 wide the height for the second rectangle is 120 200 take off 40 from the top take off 40 from the bottom gives you 120 so we have the dimensions for each of the three rectangles filling in our values into our formula we have 150 by 40 is the area the x1 dimension is 75 area 2 40 across 120 tall x2 value is 20 area 3 150 by 40 x3 value 75 divide that by the total cross-sectional area which is 150 by 40 plus 40 by 120 plus 150 by 40 work that out in your calculator 996 thousands divided by 16,800 that gives you 59.29 millimeters repeating the process now for y bar so the formula is area 1 times y1 plus area 2 times y2 plus area 3 times y3 over the total cross-sectional area which is area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 now fill our values in 150 40 is the area y1 is a value of 180 area 2 is 40 by 120 the y2 value was 100 area 3 150 by 40 the y3 dimension was a value of 20 divide that by the total cross-sectional area 150 by 40 another 40 by 120 and another 150 by 40 Work that out with your calculator and you get 1680000. So it's 1.68 million. Divide that by 16,800 and you get a value of 100 millimeters directly. X bar has a value of 59.29 millimeters and y bar is a value of 100 millimeters.